We uh, continue our study in the Gospel of Matthew. We are looking at chapter 14 of Matthew, and we are going to be reading verse 12. I will be reading from the Revised Standard Version. Matthew chapter 14, verse 12. And his disciples came, and they took the body, and they buried it, and they went and told Jesus. In this verse, we have the disciples of John the Baptist come and take his body. In the opening verse of Acts chapter 19, we have a story of a group of disciples whose spiritual experience centers on John's baptism. The account seems to point to the fact that almost three decades after his death, John the Baptist was gone, but not forgotten. If what has been assumed is correct, that the Gospels were written after 60 in the Common Era, then it seems that his memory was carried on and carried forth without a written record or written records. Tentatively, this passage before us seems to speak to the power of the ministry of that man. He was dead, but not forgotten. The other major question that we cannot answer is what happened to the disciples of John the Baptist? There are no records that we can use to answer this question. If we look at the passage mentioned in Acts, it seems that the memory seems likely that the memory of John the Baptist decades later was due to his disciples. I'm not saying that John the Baptist was unimportant in the Christian tradition. I am rather saying that his work was eclipsed by the work of Jesus, and in that sense, fades in importance. In the gospel, the last act of the disciples mentioned was to tell Jesus that John the Baptist was dead. We can assume Jesus comforted them. Did Jesus invite them to his group? It seems possible, and it also seems probable, using the Acts 19 passage, that some of the disciples did not follow Jesus, and thus kept the memory of John the Baptist alive. You see, there were people who were John the Baptist's disciples, but I don't think it necessarily follows that they understood that Jesus was the successor to him. I cannot prove that, but I kind of look at how even Jesus' disciples didn't fully grasp who he was, and I have no reason to believe it was any different with some of the disciples of John the Baptist. When you look back at your life, there are moments that seem important at the time, but will fade in importance over time. Let me take a key event in a young person's life. It could be the graduation from elementary school, or it could be graduation from junior high, or it could be the graduation from a school where, you know, the first eight grades plus kindergarten was held for you. And that graduation is monumentous because it represents the transition to high school. But I say it was monumentous at the time because eventually it will be eclipsed. To parents who have their first child go through that process, it is significant. To that student, it is a big event at that time. But for most of us, when we look back at graduation from elementary school or junior high or grade eight, and that last year before going into high school, that soon fades in importance in light of other major life events. There may be the completion of an apprentice program or graduation from college or university. Then there may be marriage and the start of a family. In time, grade eight graduation does not seem that important. We do not have class reunions for grade eight graduations. The murder of John the Baptist was a big event at that time. Now, I know it's a little silly to compare it to grade 8 graduation, but in a way it is appropriate. 
the work and ministry of John the Baptist would be eclipsed by Jesus. In comparison to the arrest, trial, death, and resurrection of Jesus, the death of John the Baptist was not that important. Then you would have Pentecost, the growth of the early church, the conversion of the Samaritans, the conversion of the Gentiles, and thus the birth of Christian missions. The murder of John the Baptist would have resonated with Jesus and what was awaiting before him. If they can murder John, what could they do with Jesus? In this way, the glory days of ministry are over and the road to Golgotha becomes a fixed certainty for Jesus.